Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be walking you through how to set up NordVPN in the best way possible. Now, the first thing to do is get the VPN, right? So you'd have to go to get NordVPN and then pick a plan. Now, the best options here are going to be the two year plans. These are going to be the cheapest. But if you want to get an even better deal then I did manage to get a hold of a discount link, you'll find that in the description. So once you pick a plan and you make an account, you'll wind up over here in your dashboard. You want to go to the left side and click downloads and then you'll see all the different applications that you can download depending on which plan you picked you might not just have the nordvpn application you might also have their password manager or their cloud storage application and you can also see which devices you can download these applications on so we're going to go over here to where it says nordvpn and you can download it on your android or ios phone you can get it as a browser extension or your desktop application now for this video i'm going to be using the windows desktop application as an example there may be slight changes here or there depending on which platform you're using the vpn on but the overall features and design is going to be the same so once you've downloaded and installed the app you're going to have something like this on the left hand side right here you're going to have your vpn servers and locations that you can choose from and then you're going to have a quick view of some of the add-on features like threat protection pro and dark web monitor i'll get into these two more in a bit but just the first thing that i want to show you right off the bat that might not be so obvious to a first time user of this application is that besides for your countries over here that you can select from nordvpn has 165 countries that you can choose from as of now which is quite a lot if you go over here to specialty servers you have more options these are different types of servers for specific cases for example you have double vpn that connects you to two different vpn servers before getting you over to the internet giving you an added layer of security obfuscated servers hide the fact that you're even using a vpn in case a website that you're visiting tries to detect a vpn onion over vpn will connect you to the torn network but do it through the vpn first so that will hide the fact that you're even connecting to the onion network and it will also allow you to access dot onion websites from any browser even in chrome or edge or firefox lastly you have p2p servers and these are going to be optimized for file sharing sharing and torrenting. Now on the left hand over here, we have a sidebar and this will give us more information about those add-ons. So here you have Threat Protection Pro and by clicking on any one of these, you can get more information. So if I wanted to see more about the add-in tracker blocker, you can click on that and then you're gonna have more settings over here. Now, just to continue this little overview over here, you have file transferring and MeshNet. Both of these work off of the same technology and basically it's independent from the VPN. It allows you to connect devices more securely for things like file transfers and remote desktop. Next up, we have the dark web monitor, which keeps track to see if any of your personal information has leaked out over the internet, not just the dark web, even though that's the name. And lastly, if your plan includes it, then you may have access to secure cloud storage. Okay, now moving on to the settings on the bottom left, you're going to see that gear icon. That's the settings you want to click on that. And there are a few important things to know. In the general tab, you have your startup settings and different things like appearance and language. So you can set these depending on your personal preference but i want to show you in connection and security over here you're going to have something called vpn protocol and this determines how your vpn will connect to the internet so this can affect your speed quite a bit now you can always choose automatic which will just choose the best protocol for you if you don't want to deal with it but you're going to have a few different options if you want to do it manually nord links is going to be the fastest connection by far nord whisper is going to help you get through firewalls and will be better on restricted networks which could be a school or work or it could be a different country something like iran or china you might want to choose nord whisper and open vpn is going to be the most reliable it's not the fastest but it will work on pretty much every network out there so if nord links or nord whisper aren't working open vpn almost definitely will next up is the kill switch this is something that not a lot of users know about but is actually very important if you want to make sure that you're always connected to the internet together with the vpn and there's never a risk of falling into a situation where you're connected to the internet without the security and privacy of the VPN, then you want the kill switch enabled because what it's going to do is disconnect your internet if the VPN ever stops working for whatever reason. Now NordVPN actually has two types of the kill switch. The first one is going to be the standard one, which will block your entire internet connection if the VPN disconnects. 
or block the internet anytime the VPN is off, even if you chose to disconnect the VPN. But something special about NordVPN is the app kill switch. This allows you to choose exactly which app you want to disconnect from the internet if the VPN stops working. So this could be very good for something like torrenting where you might only want your torrent client to disconnect from the internet but still have the rest of your internet connection working normally. And lastly, a similar feature that a lot of people are unaware of is split tunneling. This allows you to choose exactly which apps you want to connect to the VPN in the first place. So you don't need to have everything that you're doing connected to the VPN that might might lead to a bit of a slower internet connection or you might wind up with some unwanted results where things that you would rather not be connected to the VPN are. With split tunneling, you can avoid all of that and just choose exactly what you want to be connected to the VPN and have more control over your VPN connection. And that about wraps it up. That's pretty much everything you need to know to get working with NordVPN. All that's left to do is go to the search bar over here, type in the location that you want to connect to, click on it, and just like that, you're connected to a server. You have increased security and privacy, and you can get around any geo restrictions and access content from anywhere in the world. Now, if you want to find out more about the other top VPNs out there, or you want some discount links to save some money, all of that will be in the description below. Leave me a comment if there's anything else VPN related you want me to cover. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.